Thank you for watching the weekly video about my service in Congress. During this week in Congress, I spoke on the House floor, participated in hearings with the House Armed Services Committee, spoke to the International Leadership Conference, and celebrated critical legislation with my colleagues here in the House. I was grateful to congratulate Governor Nikki Haley, General Jim Mattis, and Chairman Tom Price on their recent appointments in the incoming President Trump administration. I am grateful that Governor Haley will be an effective voice as the new UN Ambassador and Chairman Price will be a remarkable Secretary of Health and Human Services. President-elect Trump and Vice President-elect Pence could not have selected finer individuals to serve the American people. I also spoke on the recent passing of the brutal Cuban dictator Fidel Castro. For far too long, this murderous dictatorship has reduced one of Latin America's wealthiest countries to mass poverty to benefit the communist elite and military. I hope that Castro's death provides an opportunity to promote freedom and democracy for the people of Cuba. The Armed Services Committee held a hearing in the Oversight and Investigation Subcommittee to discuss force management levels in Iraq and Afghanistan, as well as readiness and strategic considerations. As we move into the 115th Congress, it's more important than ever to successfully complete the mission overseas. This week in Congress also saw the passage of the 21st Cures Act. This is a comprehensive bill that provides much needed reforms to our medical innovation process. The bill puts the needs of patients first and streamlines regulations to expedite discovery, development, and delivery of new treatments. I applaud Congressman Fred Upton and Congressman Tim Murphy for their perseverance and determination to get this meaningful legislation passed with overwhelming bipartisan support, especially addressing mental health issues. I was grateful to speak during the floor debate on the National Defense Authorization Act conference report. This year's NDAA protects American families from new and emerging threats and fully resources our service members deployed all over the world. I fully support this bipartisan legislation and I thank Speaker Paul Ryan for giving me the honor to serve on the conference committee for the NDAA. With the incoming President-elect Donald Trump and Defense Secretary Jim Mattis, peace through strength will be promoted. Thank you for joining me for This Week with Wilson. If you have any questions about issues before Congress or would like to contact the office, please visit www.joewilson.house.gov. I'm grateful to have the opportunity to serve you in Congress.